What's going on guys? Bobby here with another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary photo into a very strong photo in Lightroom 4. So uh, here's the photo we're going to do. Uh, it's a decent photo, you know, it's not bad but it's not strong enough to make you go wow that's a really good photo. Uh, so here's what I did to it. BAM! Yeah, there we go. Uh, I really like the contrast and the punchiness in it. Uh, I think people are really attracted to the contrast and the colors and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not saying that for all photos. You know, for like a romantic photo, you don't want to have the contrast and the punchiness. Uh, but for this particular photo, I think the style works. So uh, let's try to do that again. Uh, it's not going to be exactly the same, probably, but. Uh, We'll get pretty darn close. So uh, let's go and see what we can do to it. All right. So right off the bat, I see some things that are distracting me. Uh, so they are this thing and this thing. So these things are not supposed to be there, but somehow they are, and it's very distracting. So we need to get rid of them. So uh, let's take the uh, spot removal tool and delete these distracting bits and click here alright so now the sky is really clean so let's because uh, I really want to give this a kind of orange sunset look so we're gonna turn the temperature up and the tint to like that Exposure, uh, we want to turn it down because we want to preserve the cloud in the sky. So that's fine. Contrast, uh, we're going to bring it down just a little bit just to preserve the detail. We're, we're going to bring it up later. All right. So the highlights, uh, I think that is fine. Shadows. We're just going to tweak it a little bit. It's not that important. No, I'm just seeing what's working for me. Because I really want to preserve the sky. That That's pretty good. Okay, clarity. I know a lot of people that are new to Lightroom bring up the clarity all the way up, and uh, lots of people say it's not like it destroys the image. But uh, for this photo, uh, I went all the way up, and then yeah, it just brings out that kind of fake feeling, but it's really punchy, and I really like it. So we're just gonna leave it to 100. In vibrance, we're gonna bring that up too Let's bring even more up and saturation I'm going to bring it down a bit something like that alright let's move on to the highlights You know, I'm just tweaking this, see what's working for me, you know. So this is starting to become something like like those ads you see on the street that's like semi fake, but like you know it's a real photo so something like that alright saturation let's see what we can do let's bring up the orange a little bit and then bring down the green because our focus is like here not the grass so we can bring the green down a bit uh, luminance 
Should we bring the sky up a little bit? Let's see what happens. No. We want to preserve the clouds in the sky. So you know what? There. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Split toning. You know, I'm just playing around with the You know what? I actually don't want I don't want that. So Now, detail. Uh we want a lot of detail in this, but as you can see, it gets quite grainy. Uh you can't see right here, but when you zoom in, you can see the green. So actually, that's not bothering me too much. Uh, so I'm actually going to just leave it. Something like that. Okay. Because I really want to bring out the clarity and the contrast and stuff like that in this. So, I shot this with a cannon. So you can see, really changes it. Hmm, I don't know. Should, should I? Because I want to add the. Uh, at the vignette. Let's see, let's just play around the lens. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just leave it like that, whatever. Vignette, we're gonna. I like vignettes, they're cool. And it really brings out the color on the sides and everything, and it darkens the grass, which I like. Uh, cause we're not focusing on the trees or the grass here. We're focusing on this area right here. And I think that's it. Let's just do a little tweak here and there. Um, so let's bring out the adjustment brush and hmm, let's see what we can do. I want to do clarity. Bring out the sharpen sharpness. Whoops. Because I want to bring out these. Let's just see where we're coloring. Oh, I think I have, uh, yeah, auto mask on. It's not bothering me too much, but it's kind of, you know, it's not that smooth, the flow, even though the flow is turned up to 100. Let's see how we're doing. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot more clear. Let's see. Let's zoom out. See what happens. Yeah, I like it. So, uh, also want to bring out the cement wall. So. because I like the texture of it when you have a very textured subject uh, I, I think you should well at least I want to uh, make it more clear so see where we're coloring yeah we don't want to we don't have to be uh, very exact with this
pretty good. And also, I want to bring out the road. Like these textured things. I want to... bring out so uh, I actually edited this also in After Effects I mean not After Effects Photoshop but uh, we're not gonna go in Photoshop today I'm just demonstrating yep should we change some colors no I'm just doing little tweaks here and there see what's working for me Let's bring out the bars too. Hmm. Pretty good. Should we? I'm actually okay with the sky. It's not too grainy. If it's too grainy, I might want to soften it, but you know, I want that that effect, you know. Kind of kind of it's kind of like an advertisement ish. All right, so this is our finished product. Uh I'm quite happy with it. So let's just toggle through before and after. So this is before and after. So as you can see, I've uh, deleted these distracting bits and really brought out the clouds in the sky and the details on the building. And the wood and uh, the walls and the road, I've really brought out the details, you know. For these like rough surfaces, I really like to bring out the detail. Looks really good. So uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, it's not exactly the same as the photo I showed you. Uh, that one, like I said before, I added in Photoshop. I just brought out the curves, made it more contrasty, and uh, added a little bit more detail to the road. But that's it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button. Uh, so anyways, this is Bobby from InFace Media signing off.